Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, Foundry RC, the best place to feed your need for everything RC. In this video, I'm going to show you guys some new products from Chris Bartolone, and I'm going to explain where I've been for so long. Alright, let's roll that splash screen. <laughs> Okay, so what I have to show you here is Bartolone Racing's Drag Baja chassis kit. So, this is the chassis right here. It's a lightweight aluminum chassis. It's not designed for your basher. This is strictly for drag racers. You're going to probably want to get the front bumper support here because if you crash this, there's not much to it. It's a very lightweight chassis. Now, it's not a featherweight. Like You're not going to be as light as a carbon fiber. But it's definitely lightweight and this is the direction you want to go if you're building a dragster. It's going to come in the raw aluminum like this. You can get them <clears throat> powder coated or anodized. I think I'm going to get this one powder coated. I haven't figured that yet. I'm going to build the whole car. I'll do a series on it. I'm going to build it just as is to mock it up to make sure everything works right. And then uh, we're going to send it out to be powder coated. And we'll do the final build. This is the top plate right here. As you can see, it's got the cutouts for the servos in here. And it's also lightened up. The rear part of the chassis. And then he's got a fuel tank holder, which is optional. You do not need to use this. Here's the fuel tank also, a Dubro 8 ounce fuel tank. So this would go in right over here behind. And actually mount like on top of this and inside the chassis. Okay, also, Chris sent me. You may have already seen these tools before on John's channel, on Botagel's channel. This is for your MIP tools. Now it's got a smaller one which fits your 1.5 and millimeter and smaller handle MIP tools. And this one here, which in your metric set fits the 3 millimeter, the 2.5, <clears throat> the 2, <clears throat> and you just put it on like so. Now on mine, it's very snug. I cannot get it past here. If I really shove and whip it back and forth, I can get it on, but I'm going to scratch up the handle. On my <clears throat> three millimeter, it fits no problem. It goes all the way down. So that tells me that the MIP tools have a little bit of a variance in the handles. So I let Chris know about this, and he's actually going to make them all a little bit wider so it should fit better. And he'll do another test round with that. But this is how it's meant to go. You can put it all the way down, wherever you want to put it for more comfort. I guess like in the middle is probably the best place. And it gives you more torque. So if you have a screw that's difficult to get out, this gives you a better grip on it. Okay, also, <clears throat> you guys may have heard that Team Fast Eddie Grease is no more. So Chris Bartolone is creating a grease for us. He's creating Bartolone Racing Ultimate Sticky Grease. I posted a picture of it in the uh, thumbnail. I'll post a picture of it right over here now too so you can see what the packaging is going to look like. <clears throat> the Fast Eddie Grease came in a 2 ounce container and it was I think $16 or $17 for the 2 ounce container. The Bartolone Grease is going to come in a 1 ounce container and it's going to be probably about half the price of that. Um, it should be available at Chris Bartolone's store, Bartolone Racing. Or, I think it's also going to be at DDM. Now, this grease, even the Fast Eddy grease, this is not what you want to use for drag racing because this is very sticky stuff and it will cause a lot of resistance. For drag racing, you want something more flowing, more almost like an oil. If you can do an oil, you even want an oil. For drag racing, I was going to keep this a secret to myself, but I figured I'll share it with you guys. I have this stuff. Now, I pulled the label off the top because I was trying to keep it a secret. But this is TMR grease. And this grease sticks to the gears very well, but it's not tacky. No resistance in the gears. So, if you want a little secret coming from me, TMR grease for your drag racing. And then we got Team Fast Eddy grease if you still have some. Or the new Bartolone Ultimate Sticky Grease, which comes, it's not red, it's Bartolone Blue. Uh, I'll have a jar of that here soon, and I'll be able to show you guys exactly how I'll compare it to this one too so we could see what it's like all right that's pretty much it for this video I'm gonna put a couple clips of uh, some drag racing at the end here just so give you guys something more to watch but other than that 
that's it. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, guys. So we're at uh, our test and tune spot, and there's a couple guys here with these beautiful machines right here. This is uh, new to this guy. He's just getting into the hobby. This is a starter. This is one below a shifter cart, he was saying. And uh, hopefully we'll get some footage of him running it. So this is the setup. They got these carts up on trailers. They have one on the bottom shelf, too. And they rent these right here. So these are their rental carts. This guy's being a pace driver for everybody. And he could build you a cart just like this. You're looking at just under two grand complete. <laughs> Six two. Six two fits no problem. Three hundred pounds. <laughs> I don't want to be pulled up off the ground. <laughs> I'll pick you up, yeah. <laughs> How was it, Alfred? Crazy. <laughs> Crazy fast. I even got a burn mark. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. Oh, damn, yeah. The plastic from the, the thing. <laughs> the frack was leaning on it because, you know, the seat don't fit me. <laughs> I got to get a wider seat. Nice. Wow. So when are you ordering yours? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> After the MCD. <laughs> Sean Guns RC is going to try to climb into one. He's a little bit taller than Alfred. Longer legs, we'll see how he fits. How's the fit? How tall are you? How tall are you? Six two. Six two?
She's a lot lighter, so when she yeah. gets on the gas. Yeah. Now, when you race these things in competition, remember you made some minutes. Just be careful. You don't walk by the outside edge of the track. You gotta be careful with that. Well, we'll be out here. Okay, be careful when they come around. Right where you're standing is the worst place. That's where they go up the track, right there. Climbing out and get his reaction. So do you like the two? <laughs> All right. Oh, the flag to go, okay. I can bring that one. Yeah. Thank you. 
back. Oh, you spun out again. Zarni with the huge lead. <laughs> yeah. Oh 